Hey, it's Mary Beth with Day One Life Coaching, and I am here with Jennifer Contreras. She is the co-creator of Day One Essential Oils, and she also, Jennifer, do you want to tell them the name of your company, The, the Positive Alchemist? Tell them a little bit about your company and why I picked you to be the co-creator. Yeah, so The Positive Alchemist just launched in March, and um, I specialize in creating essential oil blends and custom fragrance um, replacements for perfumes. And I do that for businesses and individuals. And then on my website, I sell jewelry and some big crystals and some other things, but. And that's the positive alchemist.com, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So you guys, um, the reason that I picked this was it it was intentional because I started getting migraines. I couldn't explain unexplained migraines. And I was a lover of perfume. I'm not going to lie. I loved perfume. I have so much of it still. I, I don't use it anymore. But it turned out that the perfume was the source of my migraines. And I, cause I started looking into it and look at all these holistic ways, you know, to help with my migraines. And sure enough, when I quit using the perfume, my migraines went away. But when you start digging in, perfumes are very toxic. And of course, they're not marketed that way, are they? <laughs> Jennifer? <laughs> no, no. They're, they're a great money maker, right? It's, um, they're a huge markup on, on perfumes and colognes. And when I started looking into it, I mean, it's common knowledge. You guys don't just trust me. Go ahead and do your own research, but it's all over the internet. And mostly other countries um, are like, this one is from Canada. They're going to expose it more than, I think the United States, we're just we're, we're okay with having a lot of chemicals and it's in our foods, you guys. It's in our products that we use on our body. Um, it's like even our makeup, it's in our pet food. It's in our the food that we ingest every day, especially if you're eating processed foods. So that's something else I kicked out was processed foods. But it's, just, it's right here. Exposure to fragrance chemicals, which is perfume, can cause headaches, eye, nose, and throat irritation, nausea, forgetfulness, loss of coordination, and other respiratory and or neurotoxic symptoms. Um, so they can trigger asthma attacks and aggravate sinus conditions, um, hay fever, headache, migraine, dizzy, dizziness, breathing problems, rashes, congestion, nausea, and seizures. And I'm over there just spraying it on myself every day wondering why I have a migraine. So that's that. And so then the more I learned, um, I met Jennifer um, through her daughter, actually. And by the way, congratulations to Alyssa. Do you want to tell them about Alyssa real quick and and what she's doing on the platform? So she was just recently crowned Miss Cincinnati 2023, and she will be competing in the Miss Ohio pageant in June. So she's really excited about that. And um, so, yeah, so you met Alyssa first. Eating disorders, right? Yes. So bringing awareness to eating disorders and she's um, a yoga instructor and she's um, completing her exercise science degree. So she's all about health and natural health and wellness. And um, she wants to be able to help as many people as she can. And I met her at Native to Nature when she was working there. And then she was Mm -hmm. like, I was putting, um, I was selling my decks of cards there, my addiction recovery with the law of attraction. And I went in there to replace the inventory and she was there and we started chatting and she's like, Oh my gosh, you would, you, you need to be friends with my mom. So I was like, yeah. or tell me about you. And I was like, she does something. And then we connected that way yeah. through your daughter. Um, do you want to tell everyone real quick how to follow her on Instagram? Yeah, um, definitely go um, follow her. It's at Miss Cincinnati 2023. So on Instagram. Yeah, I'm following her. So you'll know you're the right one. So so when I met Jennifer through her daughter, then we started chatting about essential oils right away because we were both in holistic. We like alternative, you know, alter, alternative type medicines, holistic healing, things like that. Mind, body, spirit, um, treating the treating people as a whole instead of, you know, going straight to prescriptions and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Because there's always a root cause of any type of condition. So um, then I was talking to her about her essential oils and she's the expert. You guys, I'm not the expert. I did have an idea to do 
create these with her because I was so happy when I discovered um, how much they helped heal me and my and help me balance my hormones. Um, Jennifer made me some. I actually brought this out here. Some hormone balance um, one. Do you remember making me this one? It lasts yes. forever too. They look small, but mm -hmm. I use this all the time. This is going to last. I feel like a lifetime. So don't let the size fool you guys. Yeah, those last. I mean, I I use um, my feel better. That's for for pains and stuff that it's on my website. I use that and like that, that sucker will last you almost two years. And I use that almost every day. I, I know. And, and I have that one too. You gave me that one for mm -hmm. headaches and stuff too. Um, so t would, do you mind telling the story about um, your, when you first discovered essential oils and why you got so into it many years ago? Sure. So let's see, it's been about 12, 13 years. My daughter, Alyssa, when she was about four or five, she, um, she well, actually younger than that, she would be crawling around in pain, holding her joints and she'd be covered in hives every single day. Um, the doctors thought she might have juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, and that's really hard to diagnose. Um, because they were saying they'd have to pull fluid from the joint during an episode Well, she's a toddler and uh, at that time we lived in Tennessee really far from the hospital and it was just almost impossible, but they treated her the same way. So she had a rheumatologist an occupational therapist, and they put her on Benadryl every single day with no like end or answer in sight, just miserable. And if you've ever given Benadryl to a toddler, it's going to make them sleepy and like feel like they're in a bubble. And it was just miserable for her. Well, that's and what it that for us as adults too. It makes us yeah. just <laughs> out of it. Well, I got to yeah. get to sleep. <laughs> well, <clears throat> she had to have this in 24 seven. The minute that it was out of her system, she was covered in hives and in pain again. And so she took this for a couple of years. And this is before I knew anything about natural health. This is when I was just drinking my sodas and, you know, getting injections and flu shots and all this stuff. And just, we were sick all the time. Um, we, uh, we took Tylenol, that kind of stuff every single day. It was just ridiculous. But anyway, so fast forward to, um, she's about six now and we've moved up to Cincinnati and she's at children's hospital. They were telling her that she probably wouldn't be able to play any kind of sports or do any kind of instrument ever in the future that might be repetitive on her joints because it would just be too painful. And, um, at this time they transferred her over to a different kind of antihistamine, but, um, same deal every day, all day. Uh, and then I had a friend in Knoxville who was actually a registered nurse who introduced me to essential oils. And I went to meet her to get some free samples and to have coffee with her with very low expectations, not knowing anything about oils. And she explained to me um, that there was going to be this event where I could go and I could meet other people and they would talk about oils, but I knew there would be cats there. And I know I feel like I'm going in circles here, but I'm going to show you how it comes back around. I know why so, you have to tell that part. <laughs> so I was extremely allergic to cats at this point. So I was like, I'm not sure I can handle going in there. I will feel absolutely miserable even if I don't touch the cats. She's like, no, no, you'll be fine. And just rub a little bit of lavender on your hands, breathe it in and you'll be fine. And I was very reluctant, but I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try that. And I did. And, um, I didn't touch any cats, but normally I would have still had a huge reaction. I had no reaction whatsoever, which is huge. And so when I went home, I got to thinking, well, if lavender kept me from having my normal, very intense reaction to cats, then maybe since it's a natural antihistamine, I could try it on my daughter instead of her taking Benadryl. And so I did. And that was about 13 years ago. <clears throat> and she has never had an antihistamine again. She has yeah. never had to be on any medication for any of that stuff because she didn't have problems. Um, it wasn't an overnight thing, but like each night, instead of the Benadryl, she'd breathe in her lavender and put it on the back of her neck. And then that was that. So it is 
so powerful, <clears throat> excuse me, um, so powerful what it does and how it heals. And it just kind of spiraled from there. It was a learning process of learning what oils do what. And um, there's a lot of rules with essential oils. You can't really state this is going to fix this medical problem. So I'm very careful to say that. But I do have our personal success stories on what it did. And um, the proof is in the pudding. She's, you know, she's 18 and she's played all kinds of sports. She plays the guitar. She's uh, she was a cheerleader, all kinds of stuff. No joint pain, nothing. Um, so she's anyway. excelling. She's excelling yeah. in everything. So, I mean, and also now that you've introduced it to me, there's my personal experience as well. So I was just so inspired. You know, everything I do, everything I create is with an intention, you know, to help people. And so I had to, like, I woke up one morning and I was like, Jennifer, I, you know, I, I messaged you right away. I was so excited. Like we got to create oils um, that will help people help because I'm into law of attraction, as you know, a law of attraction coach. And so I wanted to help people raise their vibration. And so we came up with these four different blends because I was convinced, you know, that we can do stuff and, and, and help replace the toxic perfumes. So we yeah. I was like, Jennifer, we got to make them smell good because otherwise people are going to want to stick to the perfumes. Um, especially if you're not having like migraines or something like I did. And a lot of these toxic effects are cumulative, right? You might be okay now, like, especially if you're younger, I'm almost, I'm, I'm getting close to 50 here, you know? <laughs> so I've had a lot of toxic, per, you know, I've been using this stuff for a long time and I've only learned in the past decade about, um, you know, the foods and just trying to, and also cleaning products. I only use vinegar and water mm -hmm. now. Just, you know, slowly learning this stuff and learning like how much of this stuff is carcinogenic, which means it mm -hmm. causes cancer. How much of this stuff is um, actually going to cause, or I can't say this either, but what I do believe from all the research I've done and people who are experts is autoimmune disease, you guys. <laughs> like, autoimmune disease is prevalent right now. And I do believe more so in the United States because of all the chemicals and all of our stuff. There's a, so much toxins that, and, and perfume is a huge one that I know it's really hard to completely change your diet. Like you said, Jennifer, you used to drink sodas and do all that stuff. It's harder to change than just not using perfume, right? Yeah, so don't get me wrong. I have an occasional soda, <laughs> Nobody, you know, but it's changing slowly over time. And as you learn, you're able to get rid of things that you don't need and replace it with things that are going to raise your vibration and make you feel healthy better. Alternatives. There's always a healthy alternative. And exactly what you said, it's not, it's not something you can do everything all at once. You'll be overwhelmed and you'll end up going back to all their old ways because you got to do it one by one, little by little so that you stick to it. That's how any habit or addiction is, right? We got to do little by little. So um, we'll just go over this real quick about the different, the four different blends that you created. Um, so I knew the names, you guys, and I was like, Jennifer, I want manifest it. You know, this is all about manifesting. So day one essential oils. Um, oh, there's a little pretty flower. What is it? <laughs> I know you know this. You've got a little um flower. Oh, kind of I'm not sure. Okay, well, it's beautiful. It just <laughs> makes it pretty. It's decoration, but manifest it. Um, to me, it's it's really it's it's like a combination of like spices and it's it's it smells very very good you guys i would say citrus and spices and it the intention behind it is to help you manifest things throughout your day and i don't know how many of you watching understand that whoever creates a product everything's energy so the energy of the people or the company the corporation creating the product goes into the product so you are actually that's why i picked jennifer because i knew her and i loved her energy and i'm like she is the one who's going to create this for me and um so it smells amazing the intention behind it means everything it is to help manifest your desires so that is your first option there and um 
Sure. We probably don't have time to read all the ingredients, but the ingredients you guys are on my website, which I'm going to leave um, my website and Jennifer's website in the comments below underneath this video. So the next one we have is synchronicity. And this one's like um, synchronicity. What does that mean? Synchronicity is being in the right place at the right time. Spiritual rendezvous. Your vibration's so high. You're in the flow that you end up just like meeting up with the right people. You have synchronistic events in your day. And that's the intention behind this creation. That's the energy that Jennifer put into this blend. And it's um, so we describe it as a citrus, floral, vanilla. It's cheerful. It's uplifting. Mm -hmm. And this, yeah, it smells so amazing. I love it so much. Um, and then we have Jennifer, I'm going to let you describe this one more. The vibe higher is um, jasmine, rose and rose quartz. Will you explain to them about rose quartz? Oh, the rose quartz. Um, yeah. Well, let's see. So, well, let's start with roses, first of all. Oh, okay. Roses. Oh, that's yeah. what I meant. That's okay. Roses are, it's so cool once you start learning or reading and researching about frequencies and vibrations, it, it would just blow your mind. But just some quick fast facts. Um, roses are the highest vibrating, tangible thing on earth besides the frequency of love. So everyone, you know, we're just, we're, we are energy. We're walking around balls of energy. So there's everything on earth can either lower or raise your frequency. Um, and everything is vibrating at a certain frequency. So let's say canned food will lower your vibration. Um, fresh vegetables from a garden is going to raise your vibration. Well, roses are the highest vibrating thing on the entire planet besides love the emotion of love and so and and then a very quick interesting fact it takes 800 rose petals to create one drop of rose essential oil and i use the best of the best essential oils i will not um I will not cheap out on any of the ingredients in these. Um, I believe in everything that I make and rose oil is pretty pricey and for a very good reason, because it takes so many to create that, that yeah. oil. 800 but it, rose petals to make one single drop. That is crazy. Yeah. And, and that's, that's why we call it by yeah. fire. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's got the highest frequency, um, t highest vibrating tangible thing on earth closest to the frequency of love i know you already said that but i wanted to reiterate and that is why that one's called vibe higher and uh, it smells like rose and jasmine <laughs> just like yeah the main ingredients in there and it's it's a it's a wonderful smell um and then there's also a rose quartz in mm -hmm. every little bottle i don't think yeah. you can see it on here i see it but it's kind of matches the color of the oil so you can't see it from the, on the camera yeah. and crystals they have you know uh, they all have it's very interesting too every crystal has a different vibration um but and then the rose quartz in that just kind of match perfectly the intentions behind the raising your vibrations and absolutely that's perfect and then the last one is oh shoot i almost dropped it serendipity that'd be funny if i dropped it and broke one while we were doing this. I don't think they break. I've dropped them before. I dropped one of my own. They're pretty <laughs> they are, durable. They are pretty durable. So serendipity. Well, first of all, um, serendipity, this one has the uh, aventurine. Is that how you say it? An aventurine mm -hmm. crystal in every blend here, which is considered the luckiest crystal um, to help you get into alignment. And serendipity means to me, the definition is an unexpected pleasure. Mm -hmm. So um, serendipitous, a serendipitous event, you just, you're putting your, the energy behind this blend that we put into this is that you're going to have unexpected pleasures happen throughout your day. And so it's citrus, patchouli, frankincense, rural amber. Um, so it's going to help you align conditions um, with opportunities. So that is the um, intention behind serendipity. Is yeah. there anything else you wanted to talk about with the adventuring or anything with that one? 
I mean, I just think all four blends just go so perfect together, raising your vibrations, what you're manifesting, um, aligning the the universe to get what you want. And in serendipitous moments, um, I don't know, I think they just all I'm I whenever I brought this to you, I was very excited because I loved those smells. I get very attached to this the the ones that I make and though people are going to really love those I'm very oh, no. I, I mean and I had to use those names like the, they're serendipity and synchronicity they've always been like my two favorite words like I just they're you know I, I, I love it and of course vibe higher will help you raise your vibration and manifest it I mean who doesn't love a good manifestation this helps you raise your vibration so that you can manifest your um everything into your personal reality so that and all, is, all of them, I'm sorry. All of them will do that. You're right. Yeah. You're right. But all of them raise your vibrations and keep you healthy. And they all have different properties in them. Like some of them that have like frankincense, have anti-cancer properties in there. I mean, think about it. Instead of putting perfumes that have, you know, cancer causing carcinogens in it, you're literally wearing something that smells amazing that are, is going to help keep you from getting sick. Exactly. It's, it's instead of instead of causing cancer, you are preventing cancer. I mean, that's huge right there. And, and plus they smell great. So that's another thing. They smell divine, every single one of them. So I think anyone you get, I mean, would you consider these um, for only women or, cause I think they could go either way, all of them. I think that anyone yeah. would like the smells, but what is, what is your opinion on that? Are they I mean, I don't think, okay, so you've got <clears throat> blends of, um, you know, floral or citrus or, you know, spices. And I don't think you can attach a gender to any of those really. I, agree. I think maybe the both... rose one, I'm not sure that one might be the only one that's a little bit more feminine, but you know, the other ones, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really think so. And anyone could wear any of them truthfully. I, I think they would like them. Yeah. I think they're definitely, um, I mean, like I, like I said, it's really hard to think of attaching, um, a gender to the smell of a, you know, a flower or a fruit, you know, <laughs> that's very, very true, but you know, they do it with cologne and stuff. So that's what I was mm -hmm. wondering. I never really thought of that until I just asked that. I was like, you know, cause I haven't been really marketing them to one gender or another. I'm just like, whoever wants to buy them, this is what it will do for you energetically to your yeah. and that's it so um i want to so again to go ahead and remind people how to find you just in case they missed it the first time your website yeah, so the website is the positive um and um but you'll find these on mary beth's website and um and then also don't forget to add uh Alyssa, uh miss cincinnati Alyssa? Miss Cincinnati, remind her Instagram handle was what again? At Miss Cincinnati 2023. Perfect. And my website, you guys, is dayonelifecoaching.com. D-A-Y-O-N-E. Some people put the number one. That's different. That's a different one. So dayonelifecoaching.com is where you can find these blends to help raise your vibration. And then Jennifer has a lot of other blends for something else you might be looking for with healing properties. And again, jewelry. And do you have crystals on there yet? I know you were going I to do. I have a lot of um, big, beautiful statement pieces that you could put like on your mantle or your entryway. So. Nice. All right. Well, I'll be lo definitely looking into that. So thank you, Jennifer, for taking the time to explain um, about the, oh, and you know what, can you tell them about the quality real quick uh, before we sign off regarding um, the difference in blends, like essential oils, like, and, and even if you guys, even if you guys decide not to buy from me or from Jennifer, can you educate them a little bit on quality and what to stay away from and sure difference so with yours? Yeah, not all essential oils are created equal. Um, you can you can go to your grocery store and you can find essential oils on the shelves, but what you're getting is not going to be the same as um, medicinal quality essential oil blends. Um, that's why they are priced different. Um, and I source all mine from two, mostly one, but two of the biggest name companies that are out there that um, 
there's kind of a cult following of both of them and one, but they're both equally as good in my mind. And they have medicinal quality that I, for, uh, for the last 13 years we have used instead of medicine, I, I believe medicine has its place, um, right. but we've just not had to use it for 13 years because we've used essential oils. And uh, I really believe in their, you know, their powerful healing qualities that they have. And so I will only put those into my blends, even the ones that are instead of perfumes, because I just, I, I think that the ones that you can get uh, kind of at the grocery store or like you know, other retail places just on the shelves, you're going to get um, a huge uh, amount of like fractionated coconut oil and not a lot of the actual oil in the, in the bottle. So it's diluted kind of like they do yes. with super perfumes, you know, like you're right. going to spend more on some that are more concentrated. Yeah. So there's all those tricks. You guys don't, don't fall for the marketing. Don't be a victim of marketing. Um, so buy from somebody that you trust uh, definitely, you know, you the higher quality stuff is going to have the more medicinal healing, the powerful healing effects and mm -hmm. the other stuff, you know, you're, you know, you're just wasting your money. So these, by the way, are $45 each, which is um, a very good price considering the high quality of the blends that you're not going to, they're very unique. You're not going to be able to find these any, anywhere else. They're unique blends. And so are Jennifer's. Um, she made all of them on her website as well. You're not going to be able to find them anywhere else. So yeah. I highly recommend checking out, checking out her website. And thanks again, Jennifer, for taking Thank the you. time. I appreciate you so much. And I uh, will talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>